Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. I have got a massive grocery haul for you. I've just had delivered and I'm going to share it with you now. If you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. I share loads of shopping hauls as well as speed cleans and parenting tips, tricks, hacks and advice. All the stuff to make your life easier as a busy mum. Now let's take a look at what I've bought. Okay, let's take a look at what we have been buying. Now, starting with the dairy, I've got four pints of milk. My husband drinks this, my eldest son drinks it sometimes. The little ones, after I stop breastfeeding them, will not feel fussed on actually drinking milk. Bella will drink it in school, she won't drink it at home. Very, very random, but I do kind of increase their dairy in other places. Uh, because they won't drink the milk, even though they will have it with cereal. So um, I've got some mature cheddar. These were two bags for three pounds, and that gets sprinkled on when they have fajitas, when they have bolognese, any kind of pasta, that kind of thing. And then I've got two, um, I actually ordered the extra mature. I didn't mean to do that, I meant to order mature. I find the extra mature is a bit more crumbly. Um, the mature has lots of flavour, but doesn't crumble quite so much. Anyway, never mind. It tastes very nice, it's just a bit more crumbly. Um, so I've got two packs of that, and they were two for three pounds as well. And then, as well as that, we've got Peppa Pig yogurts. I've got three packs of these because they loved them so much last time. Sometimes they go through phases of like being really, really desperate to eat yogurt. Other times they'll eat it and they're not that fast, but they're in a bit of a yogurty phase at the moment. And Peppa Pig ones tend to be their favourites, so I have got those. They tend to eat them two at a time. On to fruit and veggies, the fresh variety. We've got some salad tomatoes. I like to chop these up and put these on the side of my plate. With pretty much anything I'm eating, to be honest. Carrot battens. The children tend to just eat these as a snack. Generally, if they're at the table waiting for their food, if it's still being cooked, they do like to pick at those. Sweet and crisp salad, that's just for me. None of the others like the leafy stuff. I like a bit of that with my salad tomatoes on the side of whatever I am eating. I have got some peppers, full of unnecessary packaging, what a shame, but they do tend to do that if you're having it delivered. Um, peppers for fajitas, so for the chicken fajitas will be chicken, um, peppers, I've already got onions, and with that I will put some of these wraps, I already had one pack of these in the cupboard so I've got another pack of those and kind of deviating from a system here but just to show you what we're having as a meal um, some of this will go with the fajitas literally this is supposed to be enough for one meal but it's quite strong so we use this and then put one of the clip things on it so it lasts for a good few meals so that's quite a bargain I also with the fajitas like a bit of this Bit of the refried beans. Most of my children like this as well. My husband and the girls don't like it. The boys like it. It really adds a bit of oomph. Just adding a dollop of that to your fajita. It's very, very yummy. Okay, back to, because I'm jumping all over the place, back to fruit. Lots and lots of bananas. Can't stand them myself, but my children love them. They're really good for them. So bananas. I think I've bought 12 if I count them. Anyway, I think that's what I ordered. Pink Lady Apples, absolute favourite. Again, Tesco, we do not need all this packaging. Not necessary, but the apples themselves are lovely. Strawberries, I thought I'd ordered raspberries as well. Um, I'll have to look at the list. Um, but we have got strawberries. Again, this will make a nice little dessert after tea one evening. And then we've got my oranges, which are actually sweet, easy peelers. The only kind worth having because Anything else is too much like hard work. I don't like working hard to peel my oranges and I like them to be lovely when we open them. Those are generally not disappointing because um, oranges can be a bit hit and miss, I do find. Um, on to more refrigerated stuff. We've got pot, pork cocktail sausages, which my children are like, I need a cocktail. Yes, darling, I know, we all need a cocktail. Um, cocktail sausages, just kind of when they have plowman's lunch, then they go on the table as well. Um, ham. Now, Zara will have this for lunch, either with a bit of a get, which I'll show you in a second, or with a wrap. She's really into wraps for lunch at the moment. She likes um, wraps with ham and a bit of cheese. Um, and then some fruit, and that will tend to be her lunch most days. Um, I think I already showed you the chicken, not sure. The chicken is for fajitas. I also put chicken breast when I'm doing a chicken dinner, because if I cook the whole chicken, nobody likes the legs and all the brown bits. So I've just found it easier to put chicken breasts and then we don't have any waste at all. 
So it's a slightly more expensive part of the meat, but it's not wasteful, so, so that's all good. The steak mince I will do as a bolognese. I already had some of the ingredients for this. I was running low on a pasta, um, which live in these containers here. As you can see, they're empty. So I always, since the children have been baby led weaning, bought these big chunky pastas because they're easy for little fingers to pick up. And now they're using Cadbury, they still find it much easier than kind of the stringy spaghetti. I've always got the sort of long spaghetti in stock, but I just find it's messier for little ones to eat. And this is much, much easier. Right, I think we've covered all of this. Let's head to, okay, let's come back over here. Let's come back over here to Frozen. So we have got pizzas. These were three to five pounds, I believe. Uh, we've got um, mushroom, which is the baby's favorite. See the baby, Zara, she's two. Um, pepperoni, which is my teenager's favorite, and the middle ones prefer Hawaiian, um, or something like a swimming night when we just need a super quick, don't even think about it tea, we'll do that. Um, another evening we are doing sausage and chips. Now, I know one thing that has not been delivered are the sausages, but I think, I hope I've got some in the freezer. Um, my husband will have scampi, and with that I'll have scampi as well. Well, that will have the tartar sauce. Now we've already got one of these open, so this is our backup one for the cupboard. For whenever I'm buying anything, I buy one that's kind of open and one that is our backup one for the cupboard. Um, so if we haven't got sausages in the freezer because Tesco haven't delivered them, then we could have these for the children with chips. Now, the other meal I like to do for the children, which is the quickest, easiest meal in the whole world, is pasta. So I do some pasta with some peas, and then I put pesto over it. So pasta, pesto, peas and then something on the side generally something like these it's just such a quick easy meal and the children really like it so again that's a nice quick easy tea for one night in the week then i have got some parsnips and roast potatoes for um doing like a chicken dinner one evening with the chicken breasts i have already shown you i've already got like a uh, frozen uh, green beans and frozen carrots. I tend to use frozen carrots or I could use, if we're only left, some of these carrot batons to go with the chicken dinner. But I do keep frozen ones in stock as well. Um, oh, look, turns out I've bought two lots of these because I've bought these goose fat ones. And I've also bought these, but it's all right because we do go through them um, and they do go on the side of lots of things. So I will normally do a little bit of chicken breast and a little bit of frozen sausage, which, like I said, Tesco didn't bring, but I'm hoping we've got some in the freezer. Okay, we've been over this one. That's for fajitas. That's for the um, scampi. That's also for fajitas. This is for uh, baked potatoes or beans on toast. Uh, beans on toast tends to be more like a lunchy thing, perhaps on the weekend, or baked potatoes, cheese and beans, perhaps of an evening. I've already got jagged potatoes in the fridge, so I haven't bought any of those today. I have tried buying cheaper beans, but my husband whinges about them and says they're too watery, so we buy these. I buy them in bulk. I tend to buy everything in bulk because it is far cheaper than buying just one can, and if you buy the half cans, they're even more expensive. So do go for multi-packs when you can, especially when there's a good date on something. Um, it does save a bit of money. Let's see what we have over here. I think we've already been over wraps, haven't we? I have got some of these in the cupboard. These, let's see what the date is on these. Today's the 18th and the date on those is the 28th. So that's not too bad. They'll be long gone before those are out of date. So then we've got orange juice. Um, sometimes I buy the not from concentrate fridge version. Um, but I like to have these back up anyway. Um, the not from concentrate, obviously, supposed to be slightly better for you. This is a lot cheaper. Um, my children mostly drink squash at the table, which is like almost calorie free and no added sugar, and they drink water the rest of the time. So orange juice is really only like a breakfasty thing and definitely only at the table. So 
we don't drink it every day, but when we do drink it, obviously there's a lot of us, we go through a lot of it. Um, and these are for when I'm out and about, perhaps um, on the weekend or with Zara, she does like a bit of apple juice. Do not forget, when you're giving your children these uh, little cartons, to pull up the tabs and get them to use them as handles to stop the juice squirting everywhere. Then we have got some Weetabix. My teenager eats this in the mornings before he goes to school and we were running low on that. The rest of the cereal we had in stock. Then we've got some um, breakfast biscuits. These are kind of a treat thing for if Zara, when we get her back from school, it's not quite time for lunch yet. I sometimes let her have those as a little treat um, if she's still hungry, having already had breakfast, but it's not quite time for anything else. On to squash. If you've seen any of my videos before, you'll know that I put our squash, it's double concentrate, so it just needs a little bit at the bottom, top it up with water, goes in these jugs, I will link these below, and then they stay in the fridge, that is icy cold, and I've got two of those, they both go on the table at meal times, um, and then that is what we drink with our meals. If the children are drinking anything and it's not meal time, they're away from the table, they have just water, but at meal times they're allowed that. It is no added sugar, so there's sort of, I think three calories or something in it, it's not much at all, it's not sugary, but at least it adds a little bit of oomph and flavor, and that is really, really nice when it's ice cold from the fridge. Then we've got these white batons. These are three for a pound, which I think is quite a bargain. I do find these last quite well. Some bread products are sort of got to be eaten that day, whereas these do tend to last a couple of days. So I slice these up um, for lunches. Perhaps they go alongside an evening meal to bulk it out a little bit, but they are a pretty good buy. Next, we have toilet roll. Not very loyal to toilet roll brands. Just buy whatever on, is on offer. This one was the best offer I could find um, in the deals. I don't buy the cheapest toilet paper because everyone complains about how horrible it is. So it's whichever branded decent toilet paper is on offer and always, always buy in bulk because this stuff does not go off. So this gets stored in my um, airing cupboard for when we need it, but we really do go through these as a family of six, especially since Zara's now potty trained uh, rather quickly. Um, not much in the way of toiletries today. I've normally got quite a lot of toiletries. Um, just this Child's Farm bubble bath today. Now I normally buy the Child's Farm orange one, but they were out of that. I have just opened up one. As you know, I always like to have one open and one in stock. So I've opened um, the other one. So we're trying this organic raspberry. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this one. I mean, these things normally smell amazing. It's just sniff test, shall we? Yeah, it smells pretty nice. It smells pretty nice. So um, that should be quite lovely. I find this is quite, uh, it says it's about sensitive skin. My children have got sensitive skin and this stuff works quite nicely for them. On to these, which I was quite excited about last time, if you remember. I normally buy colour catchers, which are sort of single use, and I was looking for a reusable alternative. Now, this, these are the reusable colour catchers. I bought these last time. I'm going to show you how they've turned out. Reusable for up to 30 washers. Now, they're basically like flannels, and they absorb the same way colour catchers do. Put them in, and then let it dry and reuse it for the next wash, which is what I have been doing. Now, I had two. I cannot tell you how many loads of laundry I've done in between the, the last shop, uh, a trillion probably. Now, this one obviously has been in with some stuff that has really absorbed quite a lot of colour. And then this one I've just put in with some like light and pink stuff. The only thing is, I don't know, and if you can answer this, this let me know in the comments, how do you know when these are binnable? Like, is that now got to go in the bin because it's full of colour? And is that got a bit more in it because it's not totally full of colour yet? So I can't really figure it out. I do need to know. It says it lasts up to 30 washes, but how do you know when they're done? Let me know. Please do let me know. Because um, I do like them very much, but this is my only query with them. How do I know when they're no longer going to work? And then finally, I think this is the last section. It's the don't judge me section of treats and goodies and stuff that we didn't really need. So sweet and salty popcorn, because I'm clearly too indecisive if I want to choose sweet or salty. Let me know which is your favorite popcorn in the comments. Oh, that's mine. I also am in love with this stuff at the moment and this was on offer, so I got some of it. People say, oh, I don't fancy that, it sounds a bit healthy. It tastes amazing, honestly. 
then we get to the ripples because my husband's been eating all my ripples and these run off again so i bought you know 12 again they will not last very long at all sadly i eat far too much chocolate and then we've got mini rolls these are mostly for my husband and the children i don't eat these as much um but they love them and they were on offer so i got loads and then we have a ritz which basically just my husband eats these he just sits and eats them in the evenings um as a snack uh no one else is really that fussed and then these i only discovered these chocolates a couple of years ago these are totally just for me because i wanted them but they were reduced i think they were two pounds um which was a bargain so all for me i suppose i'll have to share but i don't want to then these are actually not for me these are because my children have to take in different each class in their school has to take in something different for the christmas raffle william's class has got to take biscuits and bella's class has got to take alcohol so they are for william to take into his class they were reduced from five pounds to three pounds which I'm now thinking perhaps I should have got two boxes and kept one, but never mind, they are for school. And then, now this is the wine. If you remember in my haul a few weeks ago, I wanted Sancerre, I ordered Sancerre because it's the wine that my husband likes, um, which is about 14 pounds a bottle. And then they sent me a bottle of this instead and I was like, oh dear, he's not gonna be fussed. And he liked it and I liked it too. It's normally seven pounds a bottle and today it was reduced to six. So six rather than 14 absolute bargain as you know we we don't have much in the way of babysitters but on a friday night sometimes a saturday night instead we have date night which just means that we actually speak to each other and spend the evening together and have a glass of wine together so um that will last us we probably do a bottle and a bit of a date night so it'll last us a couple of weeks and then finally i know i i don't let the children have this my husband thinks it's toxic and will make me ill and stuff but I'm an adult and if I want to drink Diet Coke I can, I can so and I know people say won't the children want to drink it if you drink it well I drink wine they don't let them have that either so yes I um I do like Diet Coke sorry not sorry um it's my, my thing my guilty pleasure so don't judge should we see how much it's spent uh drum roll please do you want to guess quickly in the comments before I tell you that whole haul that whole haul came to 133.54. So there we go. That did include wine and the biscuits for um, school. So is it that bad? I don't know. There are six of us, so there are quite a lot of people. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. If you want to watch my latest video, it's just over here and if you want to watch more shop with me's hauls that kind of thing they're just down here see you guys soon